Hey, so everyone has a name. I have one, you have one, everyone has one. And that's extraordinary when you think about it because it's one of the very few social things that all human beings have in common. So you might be a, a Kevin, a Felicia, by a Muhammad, a Holly, and so on. This name is part of your identity and it helps separate you from that teeming mass of humanity. But how much does your name affect you? Could it determine your future? Well, it doesn't determine your life exactly. See, economist Steve Levitt and Roland Fryer studied decades worth of children's names only to find that what your parents name you doesn't really impact your economic future. Congratulations, you're not gonna be doomed to poverty just because your name is, you know, Ernest or something. But your name certainly will affect your future. See, a study called Are Emily and Greg More Employable Than Lakeisha and Jamal unearthed at least one disturbing trend about names, and it's this. Job applicants with equal qualifications or even otherwise identical resumes are about 50% more likely to get a call back if they have, get this, a white sounding name. This indicates that despite numerous laws, discrimination still thrives in the workplace. Your name doesn't just tell people about you, it tells people about your parents and it gives them a way to, you know, place you in their vision of society. And this isn't about whether their vision is correct, that's a prejudice. But it does affect how people with these expectations and mindsets will address and interact with you. And that's not all. Your name may also play a role in your career. This theory is weird. It's called nominative determinism. The idea that your name may affect the way you interact with the world, including anything from donations to your choice of career. So for example, is someone named Helen Painter more likely to be an artist? Or is someone named Jimmy Hogg more likely to work with pigs? Matthew Mirenberg and John Jones think so. In their study, and see if I can get this right, why Susie sells seashells by the seashore, implicit egotism and major life decisions. It's long, but that's the title. These researchers found that people are more likely to choose careers whose labels resemble their own names. So to use one of their examples, people named Dennis or Denise are overrepresented among, can you guess? Spot on, dentists. Mirenberg and Jones believe this happens because people prefer things that they connect with themselves, including their names. Other scientists, like University of Pennsylvania's Uri Simonson, are skeptical about this whole idea. You know, are we drawing tenuous conclusions where none exist just to support a neat thought? Now, we haven't even talked about name changes yet, or the weird name changes people have tried in court, and yes, I'm looking at you, Roman CEO, Sir Tasty Max Billion. And we also haven't talked about the multi-generational popularity cycle that names experience, or as I like to call it, the rise and fall of Britneys and Ashleys. But let me know what you think. What do you think your name says about you? Guys, I hope you dig this video. If so, make it official. Toss me a like somewhere at the bottom. Let your friends know there might be more to their names than they suspect. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a moment of brain stuff. Oh, yeah, and uh, my name's okay. But if I had to trade it for something, I would go with Max Powers, astronaut with a secret. The whole thing, though. The whole thing, like Max Powers, colon, astronaut with a secret.